Good morning, guys. This is Johnny Sunshine. It's Tuesday, about 8.30. Uh, I've got to go back to a job this morning uh, that I started yesterday. I spent about four hours there uh, rotting these lines out. The kitchen was backed up. Uh, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about if you watched the previous video. Uh, but I got to go back there today and get this uh, laundry room working um, So I've got a little bit of work to do there. Maybe two three hours uh, It could be more who knows but I need to get a cable in this house and I can't is The vents are very very small. I couldn't get through the vents on the roof. So it was a uh, nasty waste arm time and uh, That's always a mess I try to avoid that at all costs. That's why I go up on the roof. Uh, I also go up on the roof because I'm able to use the biggest cable that I have, which is going to give me the do the best job of cleaning that out, cleaning the lines out. Um, but when you can't get the cable in, you got to go to Plan B. So uh, anyways, I'm heading back there. I'm gonna go see what kind of adapters I can get. He's got a couple of, uh, it looked like they use L Copper, which is great on the waist arms and they appear to be in good condition. Uh, so I just need to get either, you know, some DWV or some drainage uh, brass male adapters. Uh, I mean, uh, female adapters. So I can screw some uh, PVC in and, and change it over from, uh, I don't want to get into cutting out the, the Midland bushings because this is all going to be remodeled and I'm just trying to get this stuff working uh, for this, this couple and uh, <laughs> we'll see, see what we can get, in. oh bro, slow down jerk guy on the bike path he thinks he can uh, he doesn't have to wait for the lights but he scares the hell out of people when you don't do that anyways uh all right we'll see when when we get there yeah. all right guys so I'm back at this job uh, I'm gonna <coughs> got to get this dishwasher I mean this washing machine out of my way and I need to adapt that copper there uh, to PVC and get him a new standpipe for this washing machine once I open that up I'll be able to run my cable through there and clear this line uh, get that taken care of and then put this back together here uh, so it's not leaking I gotta cut that trap off back there and go with a plastic trap instead of that metal one. It doesn't, it's not a mating surface, so. Alright, <clears throat> that's the plan. Alright, guys, so. That's definitely L. L copper. Uh, I need to get rid of this trap. Just need to cut it out of there.
so you got a wood frame wall here insulation we got a copper pipe right here that I need to be concerned with obviously Cast iron looks like it's in good condition. thought that was a cross which is just a bad idea on a washing machine <clears throat> just so my problem <clears throat> my problem is I gotta get my cable down this Let's see what we what's up here on top they may have gone to copper right above this T <coughs> uh, yeah. they sure did so I'm gonna be able to I'm just gonna try to sweat this off. I'm gonna sweat this off, put an adapter on there, go to PVC, leave all this stuff in the wall, and I wanna put a T in here and just run the cable through because I can't run the cable through through here because it's just gonna go across this, uh, uh, right through this cross. I need to get in here. So, that's the plan, man. PVC. Uh, so we want that.
All right, so I've got these mission couplings that go from inch and a half copper to schedule 40, which are great. So I need to get a piece in there. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut that again up top. Either that or cut this one on the bottom a little lower. Probably what I'll do. Sanitary T is a lot shorter than that Y. So it's just going to be a lot easier to do this like that. You can see how thick that is. That's for copper. Put that on the bottom. Put this on the top. Nice connection. This will go like that. Yeah, and that's actually perfect. Do I, well, I can pull that vent out a little bit. Okay, so I need an inch and a half piece for the top. Inch and a half. Here is an inch and a half copper. Uh, it might be tubular. I don't know. I have to. I have to stretch it. <clears throat> All right. 
right, so I'm gonna get some grease on this. <clears throat> Try to get that adapter, that fine co on there a little easier. We'll grease this one too. Got this I've got this guy in here it's gonna be my clean out for rotting these lines because that cross creates a problem down there my cable would just run from one side to the other Boy, copper must have been cheap when they were running vents in copper, huh? <laughs> Times have changed, man. Probably the grease I put on it. <laughs> yeah. Let me go again. Do a little pair of channies and tighten that up a little more. up a little higher to get that 
get that top one tightened up. But for now, I'm going to clean up and get my cable in here. Alright, so I'm up here on the top. Top of this copper. And I should have no problem cranking that down. Make a watertight connection. Yeah, 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 yeah. One more little snuggy, snuggy on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get this off. I'm gonna sweat that off and put an adapter on there. sure that this thing's not threaded on here.
Oh, there's been plenty. Keeping it to myself today. We're good. We're in good shape here. We're coming around the bend. Most people whistle while they work. I swear. I swear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> keep in mind that this place is going to be totally remodeled this is not going to be the laundry room anymore uh i just need to get this this laundry room working again while while it's still a laundry room and i'm trying to keep this trap as close to the wall as i can so i can strap the riser take any pressure off of this so what I'm going to use is a, t a shoe for a tub waist, which isn't pipe thread, but if I build this up enough and pipe dope it, it's going to do the job, man. Dig it. Do what you got to do, boys. So we'll go ahead and put this thing down there, that was like that. I can tell. I can tell that tight, man. Perfect. 
perfect. And what I plan on doing is I want to, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, hub union hub P trap on here. Uh, in the event there's an issue, we don't have to just cut it all out. Uh, this is going to work. Um, it's going to be in a good spot. So I just need an inch and a half piece. I like to put my washing machine stub outs at like 30, at least 36 inches high above the floor. The stand pipe, 36 inches finish. There's that flower of one stick. That's that flower of one stick, boy. Guaranteed for life. You see that house I went to yesterday uh, to put the get a measurement on that uh, I went there to put a put a uh, there was a toilet stoppage uh, in that house well that toilet was set 25 years ago man and it still looks the way it did when we put it in so easiest way to get that measurement is if you want it 36 off the floor do it like that. I need a 26 inch piece. I tried to find the cleanest piece of pipe I could find. and a half strap I can put on that hold that thing together all right so we're done here I got my clean out I got the washing machine done now I just need to get some water running through here see what happens get my cable what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a I'm gonna strap that first. I'm gonna put a washer hose down this standpipe, get some water running, and use my uh, my my sewer machine up here in this clean out uh, while the water's running, and that'll let me know when I got it cleared. So that's the plan, man. Doing pretty good here. So I'm gonna put a 
I thought I had some inch and a half galvanized straps on the truck, but they were actually two inch. So I'm going to go ahead and strap this. Just using strap iron. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I, I know it. Into a, into a uh, pipe, you know what I'm saying, guys? I don't need that shit. I don't need it today. So that'll work there. I'll just snip a rooski there. That's not going nowhere. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so now the test is to run some water through here. Well, I know it's stopped up, so that's not going to happen yet. I'm going to get my sewer equipment, get this all cleaned up, get my sewer equipment in here, and stop rotting this line. All right, guys, so ultimately yesterday this was the head that i used uh, i actually actually had to crimp it down a little bit and i sharpened both sides uh with a diamond blade to actually get it to cut uh so this this is the new clean out this is how i'm going to be able to get this line open the base of that stack is stopped up so I need to just get this in the hose the cable and go from there All right, guys, so I get this hose cracked on this new washer I'm gonna stop rotting this I've got my, uh, using my Route 66 with a smaller cable.
kind of tough doing this sometimes, guys. So, I think I have uh, 28 feet of cable in here, and I can tell that I'm right at the spot where this two inch line gets tied into a three inch line because after that I can just push the cable. Uh, so, I'm going to work that area a little bit uh, and see if I can get this washing machine to drain. Uh, I've also got an issue under this sink that this is leaking and I'm going to vacuum that water out and uh, get this guy going but I'm, I'm in good shape here this is I believe the lines clear I just want to pull it back and forth a few times in that area see how easy it's coming through there that's good it's a good sign So I also want to turn the kitchen on because that's where this turns into three inch and I want to use that water in the kitchen to actually help flush this out. Uh, hopefully he doesn't need to get it get it. Uh, you know, hopefully this is going to take care of it. They're planning on a, a major remodel in this house, adding bathrooms and stuff like that. So this is somewhat temporary. See that right there? That's the problem. When the cable starts bucking like that, that's when you're at a, at a point for where the bulldog goes. So I just kind of work that area. I guess is this line has never been rotted since the house is built because it's only a two inch cast iron line. See that right there? I'm in three inch. See how easy it's going in? Just let me know I'm in the three in. So I need to pull it back. And you'll feel it. Give me some resistance right there. That's the two inch again.
All right, I need to put this sink together so that I can uh, really test this out. All right. All right, guys, so here's the plan. I need to get back here. Uh, in this very deep cabinet, I need to cut this old P trap off where the copper, where it meets the copper. I need to put an adapter and a new plastic trap going up to this. So it shouldn't be bad. And then I think we're all pretty damn close to being done here. So it's all working out. Let me get that cut out and put a new trap in. got the laundry tub tied back together. I'm going to go ahead and turn this water on and run the cable a little bit more, make sure it's clear. because that's where I'm working. That's where that cable is right now. Oh, it's not, I don't see any water popping up. But it's no, it's not. It's great. I'm just here to turn That's where I am.
night, so I've got this water. Sounds like that back there. Go ahead and run this through. guys so this has been a dog fight started it yesterday at noon time it's one o'clock today it's got here at uh, 9 30 but I've got a, a cold line running through this new washing machine uh, stub up I need to put a clean out adapter on that I repaired the trap on this sink I've got enough the hot uh, washer supply running in this sink and it's all draining and I've got the kitchen kitchens on right now and that was stopped up too what happened was uh, when I cleared this line all of that debris went down and it clogged up the pinch point that that I was dealing with yesterday so I had to run additional 30 feet of cable through here to go back to that first stoppage and open that up again but it appears like everything's draining I've got these guys flushing all the toilets in the house to try to get it out but at least we have an access here I can get a small jetter hose in there uh, if we had to but at this point everything's working and uh, I just need to clean up man so it's been a challenge but I enjoy it and uh, we'll see what happens done here it appears get this washing machine draining again in its proper location after probably 20 years thing that I do want to do is uh, I'm going to put a lint trap on this washing machine because a big part of the problem here was dog hair. These guys have three dogs and they wash them and they wash the towels afterwards so it's an issue. It's 
it's a big part of why they had an issue here so let me get a lint trap and put it on there and uh, push this back in so this this is the lint trap I call them a pro-life condom some of you may think that's funny others will hate me but all you do is uh, zip tie it zip tie it to this pipe stick it in the drain And then I'm gonna uh what's happening my other zip ties. I'm gonna zip tie this guy down. Actually I'm just gonna put a screw in here. I was ready to this guy back in the hole and that's it that guys wash is plugged in just need to get my cord <laughs> 